asked, is there an investigation going on to try to understand what happened during the six months that the older brother was there? Absolutely. Any time that we have evidence that a unassimilated American has gone back to an area where there has been Islamic extremism, and let's understand, there is a terrorist organization known as the Emirates of the Caucasus, which is an Islamic extremist organization declared by the United States as a extremist organization that stretches its tentacles all across the area from Chechnya to Afghanistan and has ties to al-Qaeda and the Taliban. There's no way of knowing, of course, the plausibility of what may have happened here. But just we've seen this happen. We've seen this movie once before where young unassimilated Brits, young unassimilated Americans get radicalized by going back to areas where instead of visiting grandma, they're visiting terrorist training camps. We don't know if that right. happened here, but we have to understand that that's what the CIA and the Russian government are looking into. Ambassador, what is your gut here? It, it, it is extraordinary to me that that uh, the younger brother was able to escape. Uh, I, I mean, Mayor Giuliani also, you know, earlier said to us, look, this was a gunfight in, in the dark, in the middle of the night. Yeah. Um, but what is your gut in terms of where this goes next and where uh, Jokar Sarnayev might be now? Well, I can't really answer that question, but my instinct tells me is that We've seen how these young Americans who have not assimilated or somehow become radicalized, whether it's the Times Square bomber or the Portland Christmas tree bomber, who seemed fine until they got themselves Islamicized, and whether by physical or, by, or going viral. But let's remember, it was probably the older brother who convinced the younger brother to join him in this terrible, terrible escapade against us. The question ultimately is, what happened here? And I think the British have a key for us here. The Brits have had to deal with unassimilated Brits who have gone back to Pakistan and then come back to commit these type of attacks. The, broad, the, the subway attacks in London are evidence of this type of behavior. That's where I would be going. I'd be asking the Brits, what do they know about this type of yeah. conduct?